Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Cube SMP. I am at spawn, and I am going to go and check out and see if I have any orders. How are you doing, Bionni? Uh, I want to see if I have any orders from the potion shop, collect any iron I might have generated from the iron golem farm. And I don't have a pick, so this is going to be dreadful breaking this. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to check my orders after this. I'm going to go check my iron and get a pick from my ender chest. I should have one there. But you might have noticed there's a new building on the block. And that's because there is. So apparently, Tibsy has built an automatic chicken farm. And I checked it out, and it seems to be working. What's in the chest? Okay, so those are the materials we probably used to build it. And I, I, I honestly, I was looking at this, and I don't know how it works. Um, I was checking hoppers, I was checking droppers and everything. And So I was looking in this chest, and it's been producing nice cooked chicken. And I assume it's free to take, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of that. Um, but I don't see how it works, honestly. I just see a bunch of chickens in this cauldron here with a hatch lab. And there's like a dropper here, and then there's more in this cauldron. I don't, I don't understand how it works. <laughs> I, I thought there might have been redstone underneath it. I seriously can't figure out how it works and how cauldrons and half slabs have to do with it. It's probably some method on how to get uh, a chicken farm going though. So, yeah, it works and it's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and check my iron farm though, and uh, I don't know if I'll be finishing that because I have another thing that I want to build this episode with by Ani later on, which I'll explain. Um, let's just check it out. Oh, whoa, whoa, exactly six stacks. Okay, sweet. I will take all of that and I actually will need a crafting table. So let's put this here and we're going to go ahead and craft some of this. I don't know why Bionni's following me around. I guess because I'm building with him soon and he's getting impatient. Uh, <laughs> Bionni's just sitting there. All right, let's take all these stacks and make it into iron blocks so that they're easy to pocket. I'm getting so much iron off this, it's unbelievable. Um, I can't wait to make it either a storage compartment or a... Whoa, I almost have a stack of iron blocks, that's amazing. I just realized that because I have like 30 already in my chest. And one more stack, there we go. So that is going to be 42 more iron blocks. That's awesome, let's collect all this. I don't really need the cobblestone. But let's go ahead and check out the potion shop to see if I've gotten any revenue from that. And then we'll move on to the next thing. And it's getting nighttime. I don't like nighttime, so we gotta do this quickly. I only like to record when it's daytime on the server. I don't know, nighttime is evil. So let's go down here. Nope, I have not gotten any orders from the potion shop either. So I will cover that up. Uh, I doubt I've gotten anything from the packed ice shop. I don't see anything new on the block except for this sign. So apparently, uh, Vass has a missing horse. And his name is Chum, and if anybody finds him, they get five diamonds. Uh, very sad that his horse went missing, but over over the weekend, I figured actually, or sorry, today's Wednesday, sorry. In the last few days, I figured out that uh, Devin had also lost his horse, so I don't know if horses are despawning. I was blamed for uh, kidnapping Devin's horse or something, because I had been the last there when I pranked him with the poppies, but I assure you I did not do anything with his horse so i don't know if anybody's like kidnapping them and playing like a role or as a villain on the server or something of the sort i am not sure so i uh i don't know if they're despawning either so if any of you have any solutions to this problem let me know but as far as i'm concerned Devin's getting a new horse and vast is still trying to find his but anyways i am going to go on to the next thing now and i will see you then all right hello there pat clone how are you doing today I'm doing great. How so, uh, I'm doing fine, actually. So, to those of you not aware, Pat is our newest member to the server. How are you doing, Pat? Pat has been my uh, graphics designer, and he's the guy who may has made most of the UHC season intros up to this point. And he is the newest member on the server. Now, last time I added Crickin, a lot of you had said that there are too many people that are joining the server at this point. And I assure you, the more people we get, the better. Um, I, I don't mind adding new members, and I don't think there will be a point where it will really be a crowded server. I do notice that there's been more people online in the last few days, but Cricken's just getting started and Pat's getting started now. So, um, But I also want to address something. So every time I add a new member, uh, people are always telling me to add someone else, and that's not actually the way it works. So both Pat and Cricken came to me and asked to be in the server 
So I added them, and as a group, we like discussed it and we added them. Uh, and I've actually um, been like made aware that uh my subscribers or subscribers of other people of the cube are going on other people's channels who are not on the cube and asking them to be a part of it uh even though they may not be interested at the this moment in time or they just can't do to time difficulties or the sort so what i'm asking you guys to do is just you know i i posted a comment on this in the other video like just just don't go to other people's channels and ask them to be in the cube if they're not in the cube there's definitely a reason as to why they're not in the cube um and don't ask on this video either because i can't control someone's ability to be in the cube like people come to me and then we as a group decide whether or not they would be a good fit to the group uh so yeah just just i don't know i feel like like that that just went a bit too far um, and I, I don't like to make, like, I don't like to cause anyone an inconvenience. So if you have, if you want anybody to be in the cube, don't, don't ask me to add them, but definitely do not go harass them in their comment section on their videos because it's definitely not that cool. Uh, if they want to join the cube at one point or another, they will on their own terms. I just wanted to make that public, uh, and that's that's about it actually with that because I had a lot of problems with that within the last few days actually with uh, with people doing that and I wanted to make that that clear. Uh, also, I <laughs> I've seen a lot of people like uh, comment on something that I say in the video. Um, like for example, a couple of videos ago, I actually um, mentioned why I didn't actually build an iron golem for my cashier. So a good suggestion before you comment anything like that to avoid any confusion in the comment section would just be. You know, watch the whole video and uh, then then comment on anything I may have done wrong because I, I may have explained it in the video. But that's something I just wanted to address really quickly here, introducing Pat. But uh, Pat is actually trying to get his channel off on the right start for 2014. I don't know where you went, by the way, Pat. You kind of just dipped. Like, uh, just kind of hanging around your uh, Iron Golem farm over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, around. so Pat is is trying to get his channel off on the right start for 2014, and he's joined the cube. So if you definitely want to see more of the cube, go ahead and check out his channel. Maybe give him a subscribe. He's a good friend of mine, and I know he deserves it, and he's, uh, he's looking to grow with us as a group. So, yeah, check him out. Uh, now I'm going to go work on something with Bionni that I've wanted to do for a while now. So, Pat, you can go do your own thing now, I guess. <laughs> see ya. Uh, <laughs> All right, see ya. You didn't have much time to talk there, but I did say I wanted to address the comments thing. Uh, now I'm going to go and work on something with Bionni. So I'll see you later, dude. And uh, you can do what you want. The cube's free. You Sounds can do good. whatever. Bye-bye. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> All right. Hey, Bionni. Hello. I noticed you were following me around just a couple yeah. of minutes ago when I was doing my intro. Uh, so Bionni and I have actually had the same idea. I, I suggested it to him yesterday. And we've noticed that a lot of the time people are continuing to trample the crops at spawn and not take care of the farm very well. So we decided we would take it upon ourselves to tear this guy down and make it so that it's kind of one of those things where you click a button and it all dispenses to you at once and then you replant them. Kind of like what Kermit has over here. Mm -hmm. He's got something of the sort over here. However, we're going to do it right here where all the other farms were, and we're going to incorporate it all into one. I already asked him if we were, uh, if we could do it. And I believe, Bionni, we're going to make it into a building afterwards, after we're finished all the redstone and stuff. Is that um, true? I think, I think we'll, yeah, I, I was saying, whoops, hello, oh. creeper. Oh, Blue. that was laggy. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I thought that was just me. <laughs> but that was my uh, internet I again. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make it uh, automatic. We're going to, like, make the automatic part. And then I said, because uh, I, I did a little intro, I think I'm going to do, I'll make a building, like a greenhouse type thing afterwards, probably in the next episode. Yeah, so, so, that it's, uh, so Bionni will up. build it in his episode. So if you want to go check it out, it'll probably be posted when on your channel? Uh, probably, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't want to put any dates uh, <laughs> on there. Sure. Just not to guarantee anything. Okay, I've covered up the whole. So what we're going to do is, uh, what do you want to build it out of, by the way? I know we created a mock-up in a creative server out of sandstone, but that's just because it was the first block in your um, hand. What what blocks do we have? I left all my stuff at your house. Oh, wait, no, I have some. And by the stuff. way, I suggest we pick up at least a, a stack of each of the materials so we can plant them all again, no mm -hmm. problem. Uh, yeah, but what we're uh, going to do uh, for the time being is we're going to collect that, we're going to destroy the farm, and we'll be back with you once uh, we've, we've done that. So we will see you in just a second. 
All right, guys, so we finished clearing out the farm, like, almost. We're still clearing out nether wart. We're still figuring out what to do with it, because I don't think we're going to implement it into the automatic farm. And I think I just lagged. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you did. A little bit. <laughs> I said, I don't I don't know what we're going to do with the nether wart, but I don't think we're going to implement it in the automatic farm. This is Kevin. This is our YouTube Whoops. manager. He's, uh, a lot of people asked who he was the last time. I did say who he was. But um, he's he's basically like if you are a YouTuber or uh, something like that and you're you've joined a network He's basically our manager of the network. He manages all of our YouTube channels and stuff and makes sure everything's good to go And that's what he does and he wanted to be on the cube and he's got a pretty derpy skin <laughs> uh, But we wanted we're so what we did with the chicken farm is we got rid of it since we've got an automatic one here now And we plan to make the cow farm look better as well I'll probably get Kevin into a call at some point or another so you guys could hear him. Actually, you want to get him into a call now? Um. Want to hop onto the TS, Kevin? And here is Kevin, everyone. Say hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you were just wondering what we were doing, and you saw us tearing down all this stuff, and you were you were thinking we were gonna like blow up the cube or something. <laughs> no, we're not demolishing. We're just creating an automatic farm. And we wanted to film this because we're actually transporting the cows now using water. So place the water down, Bionni, and then I will open it up and... Actually, place the water down in the corner here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can get two buckets so we can... And just in case, I'll grab two buckets of water. Yeah, that will probably be needed. Um, yeah, let's place So we're basically transporting here. them into this hole here. This is going to be their new home. And you're sure they can fit through this one? Okay, here I they go. So. Let's find out. Oh, they go in? No, no, no. What? <laughs> Yeah, they can. They can. They can fit they through. Now yeah, put pushing. another bucket. Put another bucket here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so they're gonna start flowing in. Yeah, let me let me wait for them all to get pushed out. Awesome. All right, Kevin, you're all not right. much of a talker, are you? Go, go, go cows. Go. Kevin's AFK or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one cow. I think go. he just oh. lagged out. Oh, poor guy. Uh, okay, no, let's. Where is this one cow? Is not going here. You know what? Push him down. I killed him. Oh no! No mind. We'll push him in. Push him in. There he goes. Yeah, we spared his in? life. Okay. Yeah, he's in. Nice. All right, we got get him. Up, get him quick. We got him. Sweet. Yes. Okay. Oh, awesome. 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 Okay, now we have to. Whoa! It's then uh, start to work on it. Yeah. Yeah, just a second. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fill this in. Actually, why am, why am I doing this on camera? Yeah. Uh, Kevin, <laughs> say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> And we are back. All right. So, Kevin, Bionni, and I, Kevin's not going to be talking right now because he's doing something, but uh, we worked on this for a bit and we've made the general infrastructure. It looks kind of similar to Kermit's over here, however, not quite. Uh, what did you want me to do now, uh, Bionni? Uh, we got to we gotta do the redstone. So, um, you, have all the, you have all the supplies, right? Yeah, you I do anything? have all the supplies. Don't worry. So okay, we needed so to place them let's back do the here, right? the dispensers. Yeah, let's do the dispensers, dispensers. first. Where did I put those um, dispensers? I think they're in my chest. Just a second. I've got all the supplies, but I left them over here. <laughs> well just done. a second. Where did I put them? Dropper. Oh, I, need a, I need to get all the buckets as well. Dispenser. One, two. I only have nine. Okay. Wait, where nine, did the 15 uh, dispensers I just made go? I swear I had. Four, there's four. There's, oh, wait. These are droppers. What is yeah. the difference? Yeah. Where uh, did I? <laughs> Do you have them, okay. Kevin? I don't think does, he does. Does Kevin have them? Uh, what about in this chest? Oh, it's right probably yeah, in the chest. Oh, I was getting worried. Yeah, they're in there, right? Okay, there, there we go. Yeah, Fifteen okay. dispensers. Okay. So, <laughs> I was like, I swear gonna... I made them. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay, here. Uh, what we're gonna do is place them along this line right here. Okay, here, you can uh, help me. Yeah, I'm gonna do drop that. some for you. I got some. Don't worry. I got some okay. of my own. Yay. Um, just like this. Okay, and then we need water buckets, so go ahead and place the water buckets in the dispensers. Each of the ones, one per dispenser, oh, right? Wait, I'll do it. I'll go on this side. Do you yeah, want them to be in dispenser. the middle for looks, I, or? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I just put them in there, because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, one, you're a builder, two, and it's got to look perfect. That's why. <laughs> I only have four buckets, so you'll have to do the rest. Oh, Kevin. Yeah. You're going to have to move, buddy. There we go. Get, get out of the way, Kevin. Get out All of the way. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And uh, I have no more buckets. Are you out? There should be four in this one. Just a sec. Just a sec. <laughs> one more? You need one more? No, I was just making uh, them in the water buckets oh, so that I could okay. put them in the dispenser. And then we need to do the redstone. Yeah. Which, okay. um... That shouldn't be okay. too hard, actually. You have, uh, do you have... Did you get a bunch of repeaters? Or do you... I, don't I do have, have repeaters. 50 repeaters because that's from fine, when I fine. tore down <laughs> the, uh... Enough. 
from when I tore down the, the New Year's thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there was a so, lot of repeaters involved there. Yeah, go ahead and give me the redstone and the repeaters. I'll give you half and half just so. Oh, Bat got his first diamonds. GG. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so we need the repeaters facing the dispensers like this, right? Oh, uh, you know what? We actually have to extend this back a bit. But that's yeah, what I was yeah, thinking. I was like, right, shouldn't it right. go down one? Okay, there yeah, we, we go. gotta expend, extend it back one. Watch yeah. out, Kevin. Watch Kevin's out, Kevin. gotta watch out. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. And then what we need to do is extend this back one. Yeah, exactly. Okay, sweet. Shouldn't take too long. So we can fix it. Okay. Bionni uh, just made a building error. It happens I'm, all the time. I Don't worry. Up. I messed up. Oh, he's All got right. enough stone. He's going to cover up the back. Okay. okay. Sweet. All right. Now we got to put the redstone string, which shouldn't take long at all either. And this then... is like your basic auto water farm right here is what's going on. I can remember how to do this with the redstone. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we need to have this come back. Well, basically, like we just want to power all the repeaters. Uh, and we want to put it through these little in-between areas that you've made here. I don't know. why. Wait, why did you fill this with dirt here? You felt this um, in between because we, cause we only need one side to have a button. So I put. Ah, it'll side. kill me if if not both of them do. Because right, it right, won't be we'll, symmetrical. We'll do, we'll, we'll do both. It's, okay, I'll put the redstone right, line. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Come on, you know me. I can't deal yeah. with that. Right, and then we'll we just gotta this. connect it to each and every one. Gotta of them. get rid of this one then and put the redstone down. I think this should be. Yeah, work. I guess, uh, well, it will work if there's either side. As long as people don't sit, press both buttons at the same time, because that would probably mess it up. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, you okay. put three repeaters here, so you put one three blocks at, and then you left a space. I just kind of placed of them randomly. Five. Let's see, one. Well, we want, one, we want two, it to be even. Three, no, 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 four. no, no, no. We're going to make it even, my friend. <laughs> so you placed it three blocks out, which is there, and then you left a five block space, and you placed the next one there. Yeah. How'd you know? Okay, yeah, there we there go. There you go. And that was the it. And then you had another one right here. And that's it. Now we just there. put redstone. Is that all the repeaters we needed? I have 14 uh, left. I believe so. I think okay, that was it. Yeah, I have 14 as well. And I think what we need to do, oh. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Because remember we had this problem when we uh, pressed one. Oh, see, this is what I'm worried about. What are you worried Cause about? Because when you press one button, like if I was to press this button. Yeah. It won't extend to all the side. So what we have to do is place another repeater like this right here. Are you sure? Come back here. Yeah, we have to place a repeater like this. But well, wouldn't it, it will wouldn't extend. it power all of these repeaters here? Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! Whoops, my bad. Sorry. We need to place it right here. There we go. You're right. Okay, and then whoops! I keep breaking. Hang on stuff. a sec. You wanna you wanna test it and click it? I wanna see how this yeah, works. Yeah. Wait, wait, okay. wait. Let me place the one. Okay, go ahead and click it. Let me see. Does anybody have a one. button like plain stone? It's okay if nobody uh, does. I can get some. Yeah, okay. make a stone button. Okay, who's shooting arrows at me? Probably oh, a skeleton. Go. Yeah, there's a skeleton okay. outside my shop. And got a button. Sweet. Gonna cover this up with dirt real quickly so that it looks like I was never here. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so. So Go ahead and button. place it on either one. It should work. Okay, and click. There yeah, we okay. Go. So it works perfectly. And click again, and it should stop. All right. Yeah, it does. Nice. Okay, so, so that the part works. works. Do you have the droppers? Uh, uh, did you did you grab the droppers? By I chance? do have droppers in my chest. I think. And then I believe we need we need twelve chests as well. So let's see. Uh, I've got four wood. droppers. How many do we need? One, two, we need 15. I've got six. How do you make? I know how to make one. I know how to make one. Does anybody have a, a great abundance of cobble? Uh, I have, here, let me see if there's more cobble over here. Hmm. Might be some in this chest. I didn't check because I wasn't paying attention. Hey, there's uh, Kevin. Kevin. Right, there there's some. <laughs> Does Kevin there's have more cobble. Uh, cobble for me here by anything? Here, I got right. some. Sweet. There's some cobble. Nice. And that's gonna be two stacks ish. Okay. Do you have wood in here to make chests as well? Um, and I believe if we just do, do this, yeah. Oh, there we go. Four, so I got one, fifteen two, three, droppers. Four. Let's go. What do we need the droppers for, by the way? Uh, because what we want them to do, because when, uh, as you guys can see from when the water pours down, this is where all the crops are going to be. When the water pours down, it's and we're gonna have droppers that push them into chests, which we're actually going to put right here. So I have some chests. Do you have any more chests, by the way? I have four. Wait, they're gonna okay, shoot we'll upwards at the chests, or what? 
Now we need to put the droppers right here. Oh, I thought slabs. we were going to put hoppers there. So we're discarding the hopper hoppers, idea? Hoppers, my bad, yeah. Okay, I already have <laughs> I hoppers. You said dropper and I went to make droppers. Oh. What's wrong with you? Jeez. I messed up. Here, I'll put the chests here, by the way, just so I can right. link them. Yeah, and then go ahead and place that. Did you make a bunch of droppers, too? Oh, yeah, I did. You confused me, dude. I was like, what do we need <laughs> droppers for? All right, well, I'm not trying to time now. this on a clock. Uh, but those hoppers should lead into the chest there and seam over here. Do this on this side. I think sure. that should be it. And then we just got to plant it and see how it looks. And then Bayani is going to make the exterior. Yeah. But not uh, in this episode. Eventually. Yeah, think. not this episode. We'll do the... I'm going to do the whole greenhouse thing afterwards. I need to make some more chests. Wait, do you have any chests? Yeah, I've got chests. Don't worry. Okay. Never mind. Nice. I'm make two anyways. Oh, man. I did Ooh. not know we needed more hoppers. How many uh, do we need? Just a second. How we many need, do we you need have? two more hoppers. This is not gonna be a I problem. We need, we need one in the middle also in each one. We do? Yeah. I believe so. Do we so. need another Wait, chest? No, 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 no. No, we shouldn't need one. It should okay. be fine. Uh, eight uh, iron and we've got a chest, so I can make another one. There yeah. we go. Should just need the two hoppers. Right, exactly. Oh man, I need more iron. Dang it, man. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up right now. Like oh this. man, I I uh I have like all the iron in the world now. I never never have to worry about it. There we go. Two hoppers coming right up, sir. And that should Let's do see it. I'm for doing that. All this like this. Here we go. And I extend sure just... all this so we can cover up the redstone because we don't want it exposed. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Uh, I'm gonna plant all the crops and we'll be right back. All right, Bayani, we finally finished the farm. We bone mealed all the crops. It looks good. We're going to quickly show how it works, although it is pretty basic. I think we're finally going to rid all the problems that have to do with trampling the crops. Uh, we're going to replant it all later, but basically we'll have food on the ready in all these chests here. Uh, do you want me to click yep. the button or do you want to click the button to yeah, demonstrate no, it? You, you can do it. You want you me to do, do it? it? Go ahead. All no, right. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So the water comes down and it tramples all the crops and all the crops. Look at that. All the crops get bulldozed into the chest or the hoppers. You got to leave it on. You got to leave it on for a few seconds quite so some they all time. get pushed down. Yes, yeah, so they all yeah. get pushed down. Okay, so we do have a problem here with the carrots. The carrot, one carrot did manage to get on the side. So it's not 100% uh, efficient, but it looks like it's 99% efficient. Seems uh, like Oh, never mind. And, More potatoes we here. Need to, uh, I like think in this center block right maybe here. Maybe these too. walls maybe had, have to be a bit taller. But, yeah, we yeah. Can make the walls and see the center block right here. We need a we need another. Yeah, uh, we need to fix that for so that center block. I don't have just any one hoppers. more hopper. I don't have any hoppers. But right we'll now. we'll we'll get some more. No big deal. Okay, but, so uh, how how many how of works. the each? Four. No, three. We need three hoppers. Okay. So okay, so we got like a stack in the of chest, carrots in there, and more than a stack in, in there, a bunch of wheat in these. Nice. Yep. And a bunch of potatoes as well. Awesome. So I don't think anybody will actually need to use the farm for a while now. Can I turn it off? Is it done? Yeah, just go used? ahead. Yeah, go ahead uh, and press it. No, Come Kevin! You stole it from me! <laughs> no! <laughs> he and, runs uh, away. Easy to just uh, run along here and replant all them. Yeah, just then you just replant the all them replant. and the hard part is bone milling all of them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, people won't bone mill them when they uh, Yeah, we we'll just wait for it. We'll just wait for it. We just wanted to demonstrate. But I think yep. uh, I'm going to go ahead and place an order in your building shop, and that'll be it for my <laughs> episode. So I'll right. see you later, Bayani. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess you can proceed with your episode here, and I'll proceed with mine. All right, guys, I hope you did enjoy that farm there. We're going to plant them all back later. I'm going to go ahead and put an order into... Whoa, 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 Chill on the zombies. I don't know how these guys got in here or if they're supposed to be in here or not. But I'm going to go put an order in... Whoa, there's a lot of roses. I think that was Devin. I think I watched his episode on that. Uh, what? Estimate of the price. Oh, he got rid of the other two because they already ordered. Okay, I guess I'll put a number two here. Uh, Iron Golem Farm Shop Building. Same size as shown. Needs prettying up. <laughs> Razor MC. 
Uh, so I'll just put grazer. So I think what we can do is sell some iron for diamonds again Although I won't rip people off as much as I did straw that one time But I hope you did enjoy this episode It was a bit of a different episode where I was kind of working with Bionni the whole time on the project with the farm We were both kind of irritated and we thought of it at the same time uh, Kermit is completely okay with it once again. I just want to let you know This is not the final product of the farm. Kevin's looking at it in awe what we plan to do, or what Bayani plans to do, is make a whole exterior to make it look like a greenhouse. So we can call it a greenhouse, and it'll actually fit in with spawn and not be this kind of eyesore that it is right now. But right now, it's just there to work as the farm. Oh, I guess Kevin's actually planting the wheat back. One final question. I tend to work in spawn a bit. I'm debating what... Do I want to Do I want to move my my stuff to my house or not? Let me know. Um, also, I have another power three that a, a random skeleton over there dropped. Oh, one one last thing before we leave, actually. I need to show you uh, some houses uh, that Kevin and Cricken have built while well, they've been on the server. Hopefully, I won't be spoiling anything, but we're going to go check those out now. All right, so I was on the server the other day, and I saw this, and it was not near as complete as it was now. It was like the foundation of a big building, and I was wondering what it was. So this turns out to be Kevin's house here. It's really cool. He's got a staircase over this way. Let's head up stairs and see what's up. He's got a cobble roof. I'm not the biggest fan of the cobble roof, to be honest. It doesn't really fit with the wood, I don't find. Uh, is there any way to go even further up? Yeah, it's over here. So let's go even further up. Oh my goodness, he's got a big house. He's been working on this for a while. I don't know if he's going to start a YouTube channel or not to get this cube series of his going, though. And that goes back down. But this is his house. Um, and Cricken's got one just over here by the hill. It's really, really, really cool. Uh, I, I, um, so when I invited Cricken as, oh, which, 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 which. When I, or when Cricken asked to join the server, rather, uh, I didn't know that she was gonna be a like a, I didn't know she was gonna be top-notch building but she's actually really decent at building I couldn't believe this so she decided to build her house in the flower forest here and it looks really really nice um, not gonna lie uh, very 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 much better than I thought she could do <laughs> not not to say that I had like low estimates of her building but when I look at an average person I don't expect them to be good at building. I expect them to be kind of like me, and I'm really bad at building. And I don't know, I just expect everybody to be kind of like me, and Bionni's like the only good builder in the universe. That's how I look at things, I guess. Uh, but anyways, let's head up here and check it out. She's got it on a mountain, so it's pretty hard to get up here. And this is going to be a long walk, or a long flow. <laughs> Are we going to get up? Are we going to get up? There we go. And all the way up we go. Wait, what what happened there? I placed it here. Nope. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Man, that water. All right, let's check it out. Whoa. <laughs> oh, she's got it closed. She doesn't want anybody coming in. But this is the exterior. She's got a chest here. Very beautiful. Very, very good, good looking. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. But that's going to close this episode, everybody. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a rating, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Don't do it. No!